Hello, everyone. Welcome to Thursday. And welcome to, Almost once again, weekend. as per usual, a bins haul. It seems, out. it seems as though our Thursdays have basically all turned into this. But you guys okay. seem to like it, and we obviously really like to do them. I like to go to the bins. Yes, yeah, and since we go to the bins so freaking often now, we always have enough stuff to show you guys. Constantly. Last week, we actually went, like, so many times, <laughs> which I think is what a lot of, some of this is from. So oh, I went, went on Thursday. I went on Monday. Wednesday morning, I went again. And then Thursday, I was like, oh, well, Ryan's been gone for a week, so he probably should go. So we went again and did, like, a full bin strip. On Thursday. And then Friday, we met to <laughs> eat with my grandparents in a at a restaurant that's literally, like, 10 minutes from our bins. And if you guys have been here for a while, you know that our bins are, like, 35, 40 minutes away. So to be 10 minutes away, it was, like... It's just Let's dumb. Not waste the gas. Let's just it's go. It's dumb to not stop by. Like we have to. So then we went on that day. I went like four times last week. I went too. I tried to be selective. Yeah. I did my absolute hardest, but which we've been trying to be more selective anyways because we're on this rhythm of two times a week, which yes. is a lot of access to bins with a lot of stuff. A lot so of good stuff. We're trying to like be selective, picky, and well thought out. Sometimes I go in there and I'm like, I'm only gonna get things I'm gonna sell for over fifty dollars. And then I end up leaving with a cart full of things and I'm gonna like take to play dos Yeah. It just depends. Anyways, I don't even know how we got to talking about we? this. It's going to be a bins haul today. This mm -hmm. is from two trips, but the second trip was like really, that one with the restaurant, that was really quick. We, we just like popped in. We for like an hour and a half. And we did. Not we didn't. Long. It wasn't even that good anyway. So this is basically just one bins trip. There were no really like shoes or bags. Ryan has like a few, mm -hmm. but the shoes and bags, I think we saw one switch of the two days combined and it was not good at all. It was pretty bad. So it's mainly clothing. We got some good stuff, though, as always, to show you guys. I suppose we are just going to jump into it, but I'm going to let Ryan start because he's the one who has a few... I have some accessories. Accessories. Okay, so the first one of my accessories is this really nice pair of boots. So, thankfully, one of you guys threw these back to me at the bins, which is always fun when we go and we see people. It's always such a good time. Yeah, that I think that was on Thursday that we saw, like, a bunch of people it that was like knew us. Reunion. It was, like, Oh, my so God, it was fun. so much fun. Yeah. Um, so, this is a pair of Fry boots. I do not know if they have the little fry emblem on the ankle. I don't see one, but it has it on the zipper. And then it says on the bottom. Um, these are super nice. They just have, like, a couple of little crusties that I'm going to have to just, like, brush off. They are a size... Seven and a half. Hmm. Don't tell Debbie. <laughs> okay, so then I got two little bags. This first little bag, somebody threw back. And I was like, oh, for sure, it's broken. All of these little, like, wooden bags, every time I've seen them are in, like, splinters this though is not it's super cute i thought it was gonna be a cult gaia for it a hot minute just like the cult and gaia i was gonna have a little panic moment. attack because cult gaia is like a super good brand to pick up primo like wooden very bag expensive. very like resort wear um it's not i think it's just like an asos or just like a little dupe from somewhere but i thought it was still super cute and then I love this. If this front design was on like a plate or something, I would have kept it because I absolutely love it. So it's this really cute little white straw bag. And then the inside is just like the big open compartment. I thought it was going to be from like Anthro or something because I know they did a ton of these back in the day, but they wouldn't have this on it. But it has this little rose mauled loon yeah. on it, which is very Scandinavian, which is very fitting for me. I was going to say, the art style <laughs> is very Scandinavian, and then loon, it's very, like, Minnesotan. It's really, oh, really, really cute. It is really pretty. Not surprising and, that it was here. I don't know if these are, like, leather little, like, details on it. I kind of don't. I don't think so. I'd say, like, a 50-50 chance. But, like, they're nice. really sturdy. Like, sometimes when you feel these, like, cheapy bags and it's those, like, full leather straps and it kind of feels kind of nasty. No, these feel super good. Yeah. This is super I can't cute. really tell. Um, and then I have two little other accessories. So the first one is something Jack threw to me, which was quite nice. It is this really cute little Urban Outfitters belt, size medium. It's a very small label, so I don't know if you're going to see it. But it just has these really cute little studs on it. I feel like these are always really popular in the summer because people wear them with like jean shorts and like it's kind a little of band t-shirt. It's very like festival. a boho festival mm -hmm. situation. And then my last accessory is I used to find these like all the time and I never do anymore. It's just a regular pink crossbody strap, and this one is from 
Michael Kors. You're not gonna be able to see that, but it still has like the plastic or the little paper on the other end. So like it was never really used. And the crossbody still sell pretty good for me for like, obviously not as much as a bag. Somebody that has a little pink bag that doesn't have crossbody. Or sometimes we'll just keep them. We used to have like a whole drawer of oh crossbodies God, so where anytime we found a bag that was missing one that clearly could use we could one, just, could we would just put it on. My only accessory or like other thing is a belt. And I actually need you guys' help with it because I know that it's something good. I just don't know what that good thing is. It's this just like leather, normal, very plain belt with a reversible belt buckle to it that looks like it had been added to it. And if you know like vintage luxury belts you know that this is how they always come it's always mm -hmm. just a reversible strap like i had a ysl one recently i've found gucci ones before and they never say on them the brand unless no. it's like part of the emblem but it says made in italy right there and i'm assuming that this must be a logo Ryan was thinking maybe it's Judith Lieber. I think it's a J and an L. Which I haven't Googled yet because he just said that right before we but hit record. I have no idea. But I'm assuming this is like a luxury belt buckle just because I've seen Paco Rabanne ones like this. Mm -hmm. I've seen Gucci. I've seen all kinds of like vintage belts just like that. The Paco Rabanne belt was so cool. So let's jump into pants. Let's jump in. Pantalones. These are my absolute favorite Lucy piece ever and basically the only Lucy thing I find mm -hmm. and it seems the label is always worn out like that but these are a lucy size small and these are their version of the like dog walker slash dance studio they're so cute they're not like lined inside which i think i've read is the dog walker it's like lined with fleece yes but these mm -hmm. have no lining they just have the nice like drawstring bottom to them and they're that same kind of like ruched, like oversized puffy pant. Look. I like this material. I know. This color. And these are the nicest condition I've ever found these pants. I was going to say, these are pretty good. But they consistently sell for me for like 25 to 40, honestly, this style or else I don't really give anything else from Lucy a chance. Not so, the consignment store. So I don't, because when I have, it hasn't went well for me. Next up is a Y2K Dream. Oh, Lord. And this is BB Sport, size small. Not the BB. And these are some BS BB Sport <laughs> velour wide, almost like bootleg track pants. And they even have, yeah, I know there's a spot, hold on. They even have a zipper that goes up the ankle and the zipper has like B star S on it. Like the details are amazing. The attention to detail on this old BB stuff is actually kind of hysterical. And obviously like a mom or the daughter like cleaned these wrong ones and maybe mixed them in with like a little bit of bleach or put them in after a bleach wash. Cause there's like this one area of slightly bleached or else they're fine. I yeah. think there was maybe like one other spot of bleach. Yeah. I think there was like something down by the right zipper. Here. But mm -hmm. otherwise, like, just they're like, good. Gonna come off. And I, that didn't, like, stop me from getting them because this is just so Y2K on trend right mm -hmm. now. And especially, like, at the bins. Yeah. You know? If we have the Donnie Dome, it's, like, a dollar. Yeah. Next up is Zaya, which I actually really like Finding Zaya. I can't see I feel like it's, I was going to say. I hate it. Either you love or hate Finding Zaya. I for me, never it found it when it was, like, popular. Like, I found it, like, after the fact. Well, me too, I think, but Ugh, mine still sells. Just, so these are the, I think they're like called the unwind jogger. And I actually have these in like plum right now, but now I have them in black. These are a size large. It's kind of like the figs stamp in there. Mm -hmm. And the way to find Zaya model pictures or styles is just look up Zaya and then type in like 87% nylon, 13% spandex. Because there's nowhere else in here with style names or numbers or anything. Mm -hmm. But it has like the half moon on the back. And they're Very in Lululemon. really good shape. They are really the nice The sweatpants mm -hmm. material they use is really nice, I think. I Some of their sweatshirts I've that I've had before have been like really good quality. Yeah. Like Honestly, almost like my, scuba material quality. And in my like, opinion, a lot of their stuff is mm -hmm. actually pretty good quality. Whereas then there's like onesie, which I love some of the stuff they make, but their material 
It's like those leggings where they just like print it on to the yeah. white legging, and then if you pull them apart, you can see uh, like the divots in between. There's a lot to be desired. Oh, that's hysterical. Next that's up is more leggings, and these are Lulu leggings. And if you know, you know. Um, the striped Lulu lemon leggings for some reason have like a cult following, yeah. and there's a pair where like it's striped <laughs> even at the top, and they're like ultra rare. I forgot. People... Dead we found a pair. People list them for like two hundred. Like Instagram picture with them. That was These ones didn't look like they get listed that high, but they still get listed pretty high. They also have the side pocket, which for these being a slightly older pair, I'm kind of surprised they have the pocket. That was not very common back That's in the good. day. Who had a cell phone but that big? These are in like really good shape. There's like light pilling around like the small waistband, but otherwise they're fantastic so this is more athletic and these are some green they almost look oh. like dress pants y but mm -hmm. then on the inside is kind of like stretchy there's like a color block if you can tell that's more of like a stretchy athletic material oh, that's and nice. these are actually also lululemon Lulu these i haven't even like looked up or found anything out about yet but i assume it's some kind of comfort dress pant mm -hmm. these are size 10 so they are actually women's when i found them i was like oh men's lulu pants but no oh are... but they're older because they don't have the i know and there's no serial number so thing around i them. feel like i'll still be able to find these oh, yeah. but these are cute I like these i really like these and <laughs> the color's cute and once again they're just in like super good shape too okay so first up for me i have a little bralette i again used to find these all the time and i don't need more and i kind of wish that i did they are the intimately free people i don't remember the name of this one Ugh, which is so sad it's because galoon, i used to no the galoon is the racer back it has like the piece that goes this in the is bag. the one i always find now these are super common this one's a size small and i like the color this kind of like little terracotta e color then i found a spank when x a little peony a little spank. And then I found, I'm not going to unravel them, but I found a set of five Pottery Barn um, placements. And I like Pottery Barn linens when I can find them in like sets like sets, these. Yeah. Because I don't think anybody's just going to go buy one Pottery Barn placement. <laughs> they want a set of them. Okay, so I did end up finding a few pairs of shorts, which was quite nice because I am running low with the shorts department. Pistola. So I found Pistola. 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 Which is a bolo that we talked about, I think, in a denim bolo from mm -hmm. a while ago. Uh, this is a newer label, though, which is nice with the sizing that's just kind of like sewn into the bottom. I and would I say just thought these were nice. Only pick up the newer label. Yeah, I know the older labels like it looks really old. Um, I just think these are going to be a nice little quick, easy flip, like distressed. They're a good size. And they don't, Pistola isn't like the most valuable denim brand, no. but it's definitely like mm. it has a following. Yeah. Um, and then I found a nice little pair of BDG shorts. These are, I think of the mom. Oh, they're the Cheeky Super High Rise, size 25. And these I think are going to do quite good as well. And then my last pair of shorts is this pair of Express shorts. I don't usually pick up hardly anything Express ever at all. Um, but I just like these. I like that they have, like, the back pocket. They have a little bum slit in the back. They have all this distressing. So I was like, you know what? I don't think that's that good I idea. suppose. I guess. <laughs> and then I found... So this was exciting for me. It's not Lululemon, but it's close. So these were in the same bin that Jack pulled those green pants out of. And I was like, oh, what are these? And I saw the little... This little thing. It's a hanger tag. It's not, like, an actual, like, pull tag. And I was like, oh! I got them. Um, but they are not Lululemon. They are, where does it say? Where's the little thing? They're Kitten Ace. Oh. And they literally are the hardest things in the world to identify. It says on the button, but you're not going to be able to read that. It has the little logo on them somewhere. They if hide I can. it. They literally it's... are like, we don't want you to know. I'm just like, why, guys? Just... Believe you me, they are yeah. Kitten Ace. And the logo is like. The little hourglass. Got yeah, it. there's literally, like, nowhere I can show this to you. Um, I also don't really know what size these are. I haven't looked a ton for a size tag, so I will... Oh, there it is! Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Kidneys! Okay. They're probably a 10, That was. I would assume. They probably are. That was the longest, most complicated thing ever. So these are a pair of Zara pants. I was really excited to find these. They're new tag Zara. They're a size large, and they're just these 
faux leather, kind of like baggier, like joggery style dress pants. Something from Zara that can actually always do well is like leather pants. These, Especially absolutely. if they're like a trendier style. And I haven't looked them up yet, but I have a feeling there's going to be many a model picture yes. and blogger picture that I can pick through. So interesting that you would end on Zara because I am gonna start with Zara. Look so neither of us ever really keep the Zara for ourselves to sell, but no. these I thought were really cute. So I these are a like medium these. and it's the new label, which I probably wouldn't really pick up anything with older labels from Zara. I think I have one more Zara piece in there, though, actually. <laughs> but these are, like, wide these are leg. Cool. Um, I think they're probably, like, ankle length. I don't think they're full length. It's a but tooth. they're, like, houndstooth knit pants. And they zip on the side. And unfortunately, they don't have that, like, nice Zara ribbon inside with, like, the style number. So I am going to have to, like, do digging for these. And mm -hmm. Zara has made 20 quadrillion pieces of clothes. Clothing, you do a lot of like scrolling. Like, we use Google Lens. Somebody asked me that the other day. How do you find things that don't have style numbers? Google Lens is literally amazing. Except, except still when it with Zara, work. sometimes <laughs> even Google Lens is like, what is that? She's like, who? Then I found these cute like jean Ooh. shorts. Just like mom. Uh, jean I know shorts. what these are. These are Chino by Anthro, and mm -hmm. they're size 30, so they're a good size. And they say by Anthro, so they are a bit newer. And so that's why I'm choosing to list them myself I because like the perfect for the season. They're mm -hmm. newer and they're a good size or else that's kind of something that I would normally mm, probably consign. I think that length is really popular. Yeah. Right too. That yeah. kind of like not quite a Bermuda, but not quite like a short short. Yeah. Then we have some Torrid and Torrid? these are size 22 R and these are like metallic Ooh. chevron like pants. Kind of dress pants. These I are suppose. super fun. Look at how good. But yeah, they there's are. like gold glitter all throughout them. And I just thought they were super nice. They're a great size. Let and then the with thing. them, I found another torrid piece. And this is size 2R. And these are like stretchy waistband plaid, like buffalo plaid leggings. Oh, these are cute. Yeah, usually when I have the cute. like torrid leggings, I feel like they do pretty good. They mm -hmm. have like a very light, maybe like washed look, but it's not. Too bad. So my next one is Sundry by Evervive. Evervive. Size three, which is a Everything. large. Mm -hmm. And these are tie-dye joggers. These are super cute. They're really cute. And I they're really, these. really soft and very nice. Obviously, they're not anthro because it literally says Evervive in them. And then I also found some leather pants, which yours are probably faux, I would assume. Knowing oh, Zara. yeah. <laughs> Nothing that comes out of a Zara factory is in any way, shape, or form good real. for the planet. <laughs> or real. This is by a brand called Margaret Godfrey, which I have no clue who that is. So these are a size eight. These are so nice. These are, super these are cute. real, genuine leather, like straight leg black pants. Yeah, these are like motorcycle. Oh, pants. these are nice. And then on the edge, there's like the slightest bit of like stretchy, slight elastic. So these are cool. I know nothing about this brand. I can't tell like how old these are or anything because like this tag doesn't look that old but the I label assume, i would say like i assume they're like 90s? a bit older yeah maybe next up for me is we're almost done with the pants and i found the most amazing perfectly Except broken for is we're almost done with the pants what <laughs> We had to go check Are you, like, talking yourself through how this haul is going? We interrupted to go check the UPS main to make sure we didn't have to sign for anything. And when Jack left, he took my train of thought with him. Yeah. <laughs> so I am struggling. It's just a lot of real, real returns. Which is awesome. <laughs> but I found the most amazing pair of vintage jeans. They have all of this amazing distressing on them. They have these busted knees. They're this really cool, like, acid wash. I love these. They are vintage um, St. John's Bay, which I think is Kohl's or somewhere. I don't remember, honestly. But I am obsessed with these. I always feel like these grungy, like, destroyed jeans always do pretty good for me because there's always a punk somewhere that needs a new pair of pants. This is not for the punks. This is for Laura Ingalls Wilder and family. So I actually kind of like this. It's this polka dot lace skirt. Ta -da. Oh. She's running down the hill. I don't know what style this is. It's probably a cottage core variety, but I like it. I think it's going to do good. I'm going to put it on Beepop. Mm. I'm going to put it on Beepop. I think it's going to sell well. Made sheet. Is that the new thing? It's like a made gore. 
I, d I think every core, core exists. When Good we were doing know. the research for the cores, there's one website that has like all of them and there's like 3,000. There's so many. Which there's makes so me think many. that some are just lies. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Ow. people making them up yeah. so they can look normal in public. So this is a new pickup for me. So I had heard through the grapevine that this Nike golf stuff, especially this storm fit, can do pretty well on eBay specifically. So I grabbed these to throw up on there. They're actually really nice. Like they've hardly ever been worn that much. They definitely have a little bit of a sound to them, but they have um, this like snap detail on the end of the pants. So you can like make them longer or make them shorter, which is super cool. So these are a size small, but these definitely like don't look like a size small to me. There also was like a lot of nice Nike. The first day that we went. Yeah, I these were from the first day. I got a lot for the consignment store, but there no. was like a lot of good Nike. And I was like, I'll try them. If not, I can take them to the consignment store. So then my last two pairs for this round is I got two pairs of BDG jeans from Urban Outfitters. First pair, super cute. This is the slim straight size 26. Nice little striped jean. I like these. I think these are super cute. And then the other pair is a also a size 26. These are the Girlfriend High Rise. And these are super cute because they're just this like really nice, regular, normal wash, but they have these really fun um, like hems on the back. Yeah, like somebody got a hold of the back of your jeans and ripped them off. Like a your bit. vicious, aggressive rabies. Like pug. your small ankle biter dog. <laughs> And your just little, ate the bottom of your pants. Your little Mike just decided he was hungry and it wasn't dinner time. So, so he said, mm, you won't feed me. I'm about to take away your things. Will do. He says, okay. <laughs> My next thing is a blazer. And this is a super nice wool blazer men's. And this is actually a Burberry blazer. Ugh. And of course, I found this in a bin that had been gone through. A handful of times. There's something else in here that's really good that was sitting in a bin that was about to be taken away. But we'll get that to that. That absolutely in a, makes me We'll cry. get to that in a second. So this is a size 46 regular, which is kind of like a large-ish, like a men's large. But also this has a Macy's label in it. I didn't hmm. know Burberry was ever sold at Macy's. Maybe like back That's in the day. That's kind of strange to me, but. Hmm. If only we would have found that when we were with Lori. It was very dark academia. Very true. Mm -hmm. So is this for a little kid, dark academia. Oh. This is actually Janie and Jack. They also crossed out Janie. <laughs> Do you know what this reminds me of? Do you remember the SN there's an SNL skit where it's like Wells for emotional boys. Oh, And it's yeah. like little tykes, toys for like... Balcony for him to stand out on and look out And ponder. Some just long to be understood. Wells for sensitive boys too. So this is 6 to 12 month and this is so cute. Also, when I was like listing this and looking it up, the comps on Janie and Jack blazers are like way better than I thought. Like they, they go for, for like... 50, like 40 to 50 dollars. I wonder if they're like family photos Which or like school uniforms maybe. Crazy. Hmm. Then I found this really nice wool like Ooh. jacket. Oh, nice. So it's a wool blend and it's plaid and it snaps up the front. And this is by Prana. Ooh. It's a size this large nice. men's. I like the corduroy. And I picked this up because last time I found a Prana like this, I picked it up just to be like, it's super nice. I don't want to skip it. Let me just try it. And it sold in a day. And it had tons of likes mm -hmm. on Mercari and Poshmark. And it sold for like $60 or something. Dang. And I was looking this up too. And like someone has it for like 80 on Posh. So I'm like, am oh. I not giving enough credit to Prana? Miss Prana. <laughs> then more gray. Everything I'm showing is gray suddenly. Beige. J. Crew, and this is cursive J. Crew. There's no size in it, but it seems to be like a small. And this is an alpaca and wool blend sweater dress with slightly puffed sleeves. I like this so sleeve. Obviously, this is not like super, super on season, but with the new label, I was like, I could just consign it. If. Sure. Yeah. And so this is the other thing that was literally sitting in a bin that was about to be dragged away, which makes me so sad. It's so this was actually like the first thing I found because I grabbed it being like, oh, haha, -ha, a fake because this gets faked a lot. And then I looked at it and I was like, hmm. or not. She's not fake. This is a Supreme piece. There's the like brand. And this is Ooh. a cropped Ooh. hoodie. So the person going. that owned it cropped it. It's not supposed to be cropped, which choices. It's a little ear tight. I don't know why you did that, but it is 
Authentic Supreme. I like compare the tags to other ones online and stuff. And if this was a full hoodie that was not cut in half, it would be worth like $400. It's called the Repeating Logo, I think, hoodie. It's unfortunate because like obviously the zipper pull is gone now, so there's no zipping it. You just literally have to wear it as like an open jacket. But I was not going to skip A Supreme this. hoodie in the bins? That's fine. Yeah, I know. I'm like, I don't know if someone threw it back because it was cut and if so uh why supreme stuff is so rare like even if it's damaged or something somebody gonna buy it it some little girl gonna buy this yeah i know no. so next up for me is my last zara piece it is new tag zara just like the pants it's like large but i just thought this was super cute it's it a is. little like are these flowers i love the color yeah i know the color i also think is just super cute this kind of like lavender little purple i think it's foliage oh yeah it's like a little squirt with shorts on it and then it just has like some cute little Ties. Definitely not like all the money in the world, but like she's cute, so she can stay. I actually did quite well with new with tag. You are literally gonna slice <laughs> my eye. <on> <laughs> um, oh my career gosh. wear. So these are new with tag J Crew size sixteen. The Hayden pant. Good size. And this is just like a nice little kind of like almost a flare. Sorry. Little pair of just pants. Yeah. Easy peasy lemon skivvy. And I love that they're plus size. Yeah. Love that. Speaking of plus size, the last thing that I found was this Eloquy sweatshirt. I've been finding a lot of Eloquy recently, which I'm not mad about. Size 26, 28, really cute, like cable knit. It's supposed to look like a sweater, but it's like sweatshirt material. And it has these structured details on it with these really nice oversized sleeves. I just think everything about this is super cute. I could love this. Even though it's May. It is and really cute. We're melting. Um, I think it's cute. And then I found a torrid as well. Why did she say that was your last thing? Last thing that I found. The last thing I found. The last thing I found in the bin. I don't know why I like screamed that. You didn't find this in the bin? No. So like the day we were there, that was the last thing that I grabbed. And then we left. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Did I word that bad? That's a really, okay. Oops. So this is New Attacks Torrid, size 2X. This is $79.50. A really cute little black, like, knit dress with this really pretty, like, gold, um, metallic fabric in it. Camera, fabric knit. On camera, it really makes my Rudolph allergy nose pop out. I had to go buy full nays today because I'm dying. <laughs> Oh, and it has a hood on it too, which I think is cute. Oh, I did have another pair of jeans in there. Oopsie poopsie. These are a pair of Madewell jeans. They are the nine inch high rise skinny. Your train of thought is all the way down the railroad tracks. Mm -mm. <laughs> um, Madewell, nine inch high rise skinny with the exposed button fly detail I really like. And I love this color. I think lighter denim is always like a spring summer moment and then darker denim is for like I always just think lighter denim just does better. Like, always, really. Continuing on with off-season items, we have this <laughs> sweater. It's a quarter-zip, like, mock neck sweater. It's cute. And I saw a girl, like, pick it up and throw it, and right away I was like, that looks like it has to be something good. It just, like, looks like really, really high-quality, like, material. And it's just super cute, too. I like Like, the I love these sleeves. Mm -hmm. And sure enough, I picked it up, and there's no label inside, but the zipper says Dale. And we all know who Dale is. Dale of Norway. So there also is this label here, Dale. And yeah, that is Dale of Norway, which is super, super expensive and quite mm -hmm. popular on Posh and eBay. Mm -hmm. There is some almost like snagging. There's no holes but I there's think just some like... Kinda, she repaired them. Maybe. It's a hole that she like yeah, like stitched it But shut. either way, even if it had holes, I would still pick you it still up. Pick so it up. Those things are so expensive. Totally fine know. with me. So this is the kind of J Crew that recently has just been doing so good for me. This I have no so clue cute. why because J Crew just like... I feel like I, J Crew comes and goes with the seasons. It just comes honestly. and goes, period. Like, it'll just do terrible forever for like two years and then it comes back and it's okay. like doing good again okay so this is point sir which is a j crew line i don't know what it means or if it has any is it just spring stuff is it just but i've seen jeans i don't know anything about point sir mm. i don't know if it's more expensive i don't know anything <laughs> no idea extra small and this is a really really pretty like floral spring um puffed sleeve blouse super and, lightweight yeah i mm -hmm already listed this and it has like four likes within 24 hours so once again doing well then we got grandma core 
This weird. is like boho. Yeah, this is like boho grandma. Bohemian. So this had no tag in it whatsoever. I mean, I don't know if someone like cut one out or something, or if it's really mm. just handmade. But it it's might be really it's well cute. made. I just don't picture vintage things having these colors, but I don't know. Maybe they do. But this is just like a. It's like a halter top. My train of thought has also left the building. They are not here. Crochet. Halter top is what I was trying to say. <laughs> it has like one line of discoloration here at the bottom of the chest area, but otherwise it's in great shape. Also, there's like metallic sewn into all the colors, if hmm. you can see that. I would say that's like a small, probably. That's cute. And then I'm actually going to try a Brandy Melville piece. Oh, I feel Lord. Like Brian. But this is really cute. It has I sailboats all one. over it. I did find a couple of really good Brandy Melville pieces. Yeah, so, and off. since I'm trying to list some more in Depop, I was like, I think Brandy has a following on there. Yes, she does. So. Oh my God, I came across a Brandy Melville collection post on Depop the other day. She probably had 1,500 Brandy Melville pieces and photoshopped a picture in all four of those Depop pictures. I just like, oh. This is Chaser, and it just says love. Love. And then the sleeve has the nice, like, stripes with a heart on both sides, and... That's the type of thing I probably wouldn't buy at a, like, TJ's or Goodwill anymore, yeah. but at the bins, I'll still get it. Yes. Okay, next up for moi is this really cute little Bowden piece. This is a size two, like, extra small. This is a cute little floral, like, linen blend. Wow, Hawaiian-ish. Yeah, yeah, very Hilo Hattie. I think she's good for the spring and the summer. Um, This was a nice little find. So this is a new tag, Brooks Brothers, two-ply, Scottish cashmere, size small. These retail for $320. Mind you, I would like to reiterate. And it's just this really nice blue cashmere sweater. It's a plain sweater that retails for $320 that somebody that was going to get rid of. That just ends up in the bins. Two seconds away from being in the dump. From being, like, incinerated. Okay, so Jack reminded me that I have two very exciting things that I completely forgot about. So these are both given to me by one of the little vintage grillies. So thank you, Eileen. Um, she found this really nice free people skirt. It is new at tags, size small. It was $88 new. These, though, I do know have a very big following. Jack just recently sold something very similar to this for an obscene amount of money. So I am definitely going to have to, like, Google this and make sure that I'm not underpricing it. But I love that it just has these, like, really delicate little flowers on it. Super cute. And then, so I paid her for this. She came over and was like, oh, do you want this? And I was like, you are not going to give this to me. Like, let me Venmo you. I Venmoed her $20. How beautiful is this? Color? Yeah, that would it's be like stealing from her so, to take this from her. So cute. This is the type of oh. anthro where it keeps almost like every dime yeah. of its value. So if I didn't say it's new tags anthropology, it's this one of a kind tag which I've never seen before. It's created from recycled silk scarves. This yarn has been cut by hand or crocheted into something new because of its unique nature of colors. It may fade over time, handled with love. It's new tags for two hundred dollars. And I would say two hundred dollars. You can probably get at least two hundred. I am going to list this quite high. It is quite perfect yeah. for the season. I love that it has these crocheted sleeves on it. It's this nice and little crop length. And she was just going to give it to you. What an icon! <sighs> Literally, we have the nicest people to go to. I this. know. Like Eileen is such a sweetheart. Okay, so I have four more things. I'm just going to quick show you guys, and then Ryan has a couple more, and then we will let you guys go. And then we'll call it a night. So this is smart wool, size medium. Love finding smart wool, no matter what it is or what it looks like and this is a very like heavy duty thick zip jacket like cardigan from smart wool and really usually nice. you just find like the base layers so i was really really excited to find something more like substantial i haven't really looked that up yet but i'm sure that that will be listed oh. for a pretty penny <laughs> then this is my first time trying this brand i definitely have seen it before but i've never wanted to take the risk at a thrift store so i'm glad i finally found it at the bins it's called monroe oh and it yeah. is really expensive but it's kind of like a generation love chaser -ish, situation but more expensive mm -hmm. i don't know how well it keeps its value so that's why i haven't ever paid up for it this is a size small and this is actually a cashmere blend leopard kind of like i like these sleeves round neck sweater yeah and it's in really good shape and i'm excited like i said to finally know if the brand does 
any good. I think it's cute. This is really, really adorable. And this is Free People. It's oh. actually intimately Free People, and it's size small. And this is like a super, super oversized sleep shirt that's like raspberry leopard colored. I love this. And so you just like throw this on in the morning or throw it on after a shower, kind of like instead of a robe or something. Mm -hmm. It's really cute. And it's super, super new. I think it was still actually available on a couple websites. And last. Oh, Lord. My little finale. Literally. <laughs> so this is a Harley Davidson tank top. And I think that this is so Y2K. So the girlies. Very so deep pop. So. It is vintage because it's made in the USA. And there's the Harley tag. It's actually made in St. Louis. Hmm. Is that where they're from? I don't know. It's Harley Davidson. But the best part, in my opinion, is that this is from the New York City Harley Davidson Harley store. Davidson, New York, New York. I love, love that it's all in pink, too. And the stitching is all pink. And it's like this nice, like, Hershey brown color. It is <sighs> so... Y2K slash 90s. Very that top. Love. Next up for me, a good little Urban Outfitters piece size extra small i typically take a lot of this to the consignment store but i just thought this one was cute and i'm gonna try to sell it myself has these really nice kind of like bell flared sleeves and i liked it it has a little ruche detail at the top and then these two things are quite girly they are very girly i found two little sweater vests one of them is j crew uh size large 60 percent merino wool angora and rabbit hair Hmm. And I love this, like, really light kind of canary yellow color. Super cute. That is really cute. And then the next one is, um, hashtag white hot. It is very Abercrombie and Fitch. Because it is Abercrombie and Fitch. It's 100% Scottish. Oh my gosh. What is it? That's actually... Uh, Shetland wool. That's I have so no idea what Shetland wool is, but I like that it has this little detail going around the front. Uh, okay. My last two things... Well, my last three. Uh, this one is so cute. And this brand performs horribly for me, but I wasn't going to leave this there. So the brand is Scotch and Soda, but I just love this little sweater. I love the cheetah print. If you watched the Tuesday video, you would know that my lovely mother thinks that every woman should have a little bit of animal print in her closet. Here she is. I haven't even seen that. <laughs> <laughs> I finished editing it today because today's Tuesday. Um, I like that it has these little, like, Christmas green cuffs and stuff. I don't know. I just think it's cute. Cuffs and if and I can't stuff. cuff some stuffs, and if I can't find a home for it, guess who's going to get it? The woman that thinks everybody needs a little bit of animal print. Does she have animal cute. print? No. She only wears stripes. Like, but every fine. woman should have Every woman print. except her for some reason. Um, so this is my one little anthropology piece besides the jacket. Um, this is a Maeve for anthropology size medium. And it's newer because it says for anthro. But I just like this t-shirt. I think it's cute. The only anthro you found. I like, yeah, literally. I like that it has this little like silky green hem on it. Oh, there's a hair on my face. That's wonderful. Um, next, a woman threw this back, and I was like standing over her like a nut trying to get this because I was not going to leave this there. So this is a made in Japan kimono. It's beautiful. All of these colors are so vibrant. I think it's so pretty. And it has the matching Super belt well on it too. It's really well made. There's no brand on it, but it's drip dry, made in Japan. I just couldn't leave this there. That's all she wrote. Okay, that is all that we have for you guys today. I think this is kind of a longer one. So of course, a, if you've been long. here for the whole time, don't be afraid to let us know in the comments. Thank you, I can count to four. <laughs> and we will see you guys <laughs> on Saturday for What's Sold Saturday. And then we don't really know what we're doing next week yet. I'm sure obviously like Thursday is probably gonna be a bins haul because yes. that's like the rhythm of it all. But we have not decided on something yet for Tuesday. So mm. if you have anything that you've been like hoping we would do or kind of want us to do, don't be afraid to let us know below. And we will try to do one of those things. Yes. And we will see you guys on Saturday. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.